are very intentional by the nature of, of the practice, but it's to what part, which limb, and how do you direct attention to your intention? What's the longest curve? Right, now don't lose that and just turn that into a straight line. And using that in an attenuated style to frame the legs differently. So this is a very intentional framing of their skill sets and teaching them how to do this. Move with a clarity. Don't use force as a subject. Force is not a subject. Speed and accuracy are a subject, but speed and accuracy without force. Vertiginous is a very compact little thing like a parasis, but it's highly virtuosic. What it is is a compilation of my education. I sort of sum these up in a, a classical academic style. Within that ballet, there's all sorts of little stylistic quotes. Some from Born and Bill, like the, the end is Born and Bill, and then to Balanchine Repertory. Proximate Sonata is a group of themes that get varied very specifically over and over again, but recombined in four different, let's say, performative styles. And they include facets that then get elaborated on in second detail. For me, are cast as forceful persons. They have power to accomplish things over space with tremendous clarity and decisiveness. I hope that all the performers in these works look as if they are exercising their right in a certain way as artists to decide. So I'm interested in their intention and them looking intentional. It is really kind of on the edge, isn't it? In many, many, many places, right? That's where it belongs. I'm not really trying to say anything. I want the dancers to say something. I, I'd like them to connect with why they're dancing, you know, which usually has to do with something they love. They have tremendous desire and love of dancing. Otherwise, they couldn't survive in an environment that demands so much. And so I try to give them something that respects that desire, too.